Smith to welcome us to country. And I would like to see them build a dam up at Travelston so we don't want any dam to ruin our Mary River. But I have to say I'm extremely, extremely impressed by the level of organisation I've seen up here. I do spend a lot of time at Greenpeace advising communities how they can work together to get things done and I find that I'm actually learning from my trip here and I'll actually be taking some of those tips back down to Sydney with me. Um, I'll be working very closely with Elizabeth and Tanzi as well to see if we can get this issue going a little bit more nationally. Another group enthusiastically involved were the Unindu kindergarten in Maribor. 17 Aboriginal children there painted 104 paper bags. It took them two days. I'm told their classroom looked very colourful with all the paper bags painted in bright colours representing blue water, yellow sand and dark soil were pegged up on lines around the room drying. Take off, let's do it, send a strong message along. Thank you, everybody, to come there. Thanks, George. Righto, Pebbles, let's go and do it. And we're going to continue to fight, we're going to fight harder on this issue. I guess my mission of going to, to Spain and Saragossa is to be part of the World Expo on Water and Sustainability. And it gives us an opportunity to raise this issue, not just to a national level, um, but to international attention. And as we, we're, we're finding now, a lot of uh, overseas contacts are coming into our website, and that's really encouraging. For the approval for the Trophies and Crossing Dance rests in the hands of Peter Garrett, the Minister for the Environment. And on Thursday in Parliament, I asked him a series of questions about the progress of the Environmental Impact Assessment. Just basic questions like, when's he expecting to see the EIS? How long is he going to take to deal with the issues? Now you don't have to convince the people who live in the Mary Valley that this dam is a silly idea, that it's bad for the environment and bad for the community. To win this fight, we've got to persuade the people in the cities that there are better ways to get the water that they want, that they don't need as much as they think they need, and that by working hard and being innovative, we can have all the water that Brisbane needs for its future without having to destroy a precious valley like the, the, that we've all come to know and love surrounding the Mary River. What we have here is a really precious part of the world. We know that because Fraser Island is listed for its world heritage values. We also know it because the states of the the Wide Bay area are protected and recognised by an international treaty. And we know it's precious because the Mary River Cod, the Australian lungfish and the Mary River Turtle are protected by international biodiversity conventions and supposedly by our national environmental laws. I wish all of those uh, who are continuing this battle every success and you can be assured of my continuing support. Thank you to George for the work he's done with his art also to make a statement about how important this is 
and I hope that occasions like this one will help draw everybody's attention to the fact that this is a dam we don't want to see built, it's not necessary, and, and we want to enjoy occasions like this forever.